In this video we are going to talk about electric cars versus gas cars. How do electric cars work? So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. You've definitely considered electric or hybrid automobiles if you're on a budget and concerned about the environment, and you're in the market for a new vehicle. At the very least, you've done some study to determine if switching from gas-powered equivalents is worthwhile. With a relatively recent presence in the automotive business, electric car options are limited at the moment, but they are expanding, and proponents of the switch swear by the long-term savings. Electric vehicles are also praised for reducing carbon emissions on the road. Fans of gas-powered automobiles, on the other hand, will argue that the upfront cost of electric vehicles is too high. It can also be difficult to locate enough charging stations. Both sides are outspoken in their support for their preferred ride, and each has a valid point to make against the opposition. If you can't decide between the two, it's critical to understand the distinctions between electric and gas-powered vehicles. The second most major difference between an electric and a gas vehicle is the engine and fuel economy. You'll always have less efficient fuel metrics using gas. This is due to the fact that the vehicle runs totally on gas, when many electric cars do not. It's worth noting that gas-powered internal combustion engine automakers have been working to enhance their fuel efficiency specs in recent years to keep up with market trends and to be more ecologically conscious. As a result, there have never been so many options for fuel-efficient gas vehicles. It's crucial to understand that electric cars aren't the only electrified vehicles on the road before making a purchase. Electric vehicles are propelled purely by batteries and electric motors. When your car runs out of juice, pull up to a charging station and you'll be back on the road in about half an hour. An electric automobile is a vehicle that is powered entirely or partially by electric motors and rechargeable batteries. In the 1880s, the first workable electric cars were built. Electric automobiles were popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The use of electric vehicles has decreased as a result of advancements in internal combustion engines ICE, and mass production of cheaper gasoline automobiles. A battery electric vehicle BEV, sometimes known as an all-electric vehicle AEV, is a vehicle that runs solely on electricity. This type of electric vehicle does not have an internal combustion engine ICE. Electricity is stored in a huge battery pack, which is charged by connecting to the power grid. The electric car is powered by one or more electric motors, which are powered by the battery pack. What is the mechanism of electric vehicles? Electric cars work by hooking into a charging station and drawing power from the grid. They store electricity in rechargeable batteries, which are used to power an electric motor that rotates the wheels. Electric vehicles accelerate more quickly than vehicles powered by standard gasoline engines, making them feel lighter to drive. The electric motor, a little, powerful and quiet tool that substitutes the engine in a gas or diesel car, gets its energy from the battery. There is no need for a transmission in almost all passenger EVs because they employ direct drive to move the wheels. Internal combustion engines, on the other hand, have been around for over a century and provide a comfortable driving experience. Gas-powered cars are simple to operate, fuel, and have a great driving range, making them ideal for extended road journeys. Many drivers find gas-powered automobiles appealing because of these benefits, as well as the cheaper initial costs of ownership. Although gas engines have become more complicated throughout time and are today amazingly fuel-efficient and powerful, there is no escaping the reality that burning gasoline produces pollution. Gas vehicles' days are numbered, despite improvements in fuel economy and fewer exhaust emissions. The detrimental impact of humans on the globe and its environment significantly outweighs the benefits of gasoline automobiles, and automobile manufacturers are well aware of this. They are creating electric automobiles at a fast pace, and government incentives, such as tax credits, make purchasing an electric car an appealing possibility for many. The amount of pollution released into the atmosphere is one of the most significant disadvantages of operating gasoline-powered vehicles. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the United States alone is responsible for 1.7 billion tons of CO2 released into the atmosphere each year from the tailpipes of gas-powered cars. CO2 is one of the greenhouse gases that can have a negative impact on the ecosystem by causing ice caps to melt, oceans to rise, and climates to warm. 
Another disadvantage of having gasoline as the sole source of power for automobiles is the fuel source. According to EPA estimates, more than 57% of the oil consumed in the United States is imported. The majority of these foreign sources are based in the Middle East and are members of OPEC, oil producing and exporting countries, an organization that can manipulate oil prices to expose economies to large recessions as a result of unexpected price variations. Battery power isn't a novel concept. Electric vehicles have been around for almost as long as gasoline-powered vehicles. Although batteries, charging, range, and a variety of other aspects have evolved dramatically over time, electricity has always been a part of the automobile psyche. Concerns about the environment, gasoline prices, pollutants, and other considerations are pushing a growing number of people to purchase electric automobiles. According to recent research, electric vehicles will exceed gas-powered vehicles in several countries by 2033, and globally just a few years later. It's not like driving a spaceship or an alien transport in an electric automobile. The EV driving experience is fairly normal, save from the lack of engine noise and a significant increase in torque. Electric motors provide maximal torque from a standstill, giving them an immediacy of power and acceleration that an internal combustion engine vehicle cannot equal. In ordinary driving situations, those inexperienced with electric cars may notice that the car picks up more road and wind noise than a gas vehicle. This is due to the absence of engine and drivetrain noises, which normally drown out all other noises from the outside world. Electric automobiles have motors that can rotate in two directions. The motor turns in the drive direction when the driver accelerates, propelling the vehicle forward. When you raise your foot off the accelerator pedal, the motor reverses and generates electricity, which is then returned to the battery. The vehicle is additionally slowed by the reverse operation of the electric motor. The degree to which regenerative braking slows the car is engineered, higher regenerative braking force slows the vehicle swiftly without the use of the accelerator, while less regenerative force allows the EV to perform more like its gasoline-powered competitors. When discussing electric vehicles, some people express concern about finding charging facilities. When a gas car runs out of petrol, you can pull into a gas station and fill up in about 5 minutes, but when an electric vehicle runs out of charge, it's not so straightforward. Though many EVs can drive hundreds of miles on a single charge, recharging them can take a long time, at least for some electric vehicles. Some versions can recover up to 80% or more of their energy in as little as 20 minutes, but when the battery's near capacity, the charging speed slows significantly. The rate at which a charging station can refuel an electric vehicle's range varies, although fast charging is becoming more common at charging stations around the country. Even if a driver's home does not have a charger, they often save money on gas and have a lower overall cost as a result. If you've only recently learned about hybrid vehicles, you might imagine that electric vehicles, like hybrids, require petrol to run at some point. Hybrid vehicles do require gasoline, while electric vehicles do not. Their electric motors are powered by battery packs, which must be refilled when the range of the vehicle is depleted. While gas vehicles are typically less expensive and easier to refuel, there are some advantages to owning an electric vehicle that have nothing to do with pricing. One of the most significant advantages of owning an electric vehicle is the reduced requirement for routine maintenance. There are no oil changes, no mechanical components to break under the hood, no exhaust system, and other components like brakes can have their lives extended. Because there is no engine noise, many people claim that driving an electric car is more soothing than driving a gas vehicle. Depending on the electric vehicle you choose, you may be eligible for tax benefits. The federal government grants buyers of qualified electric cars a one-time tax credit of up to $7,500, and other states offer tax credits on select models as well, lowering the effective cost of the purchase. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.